Nene's Taqueria. Oh. Great Let's tacos. not discuss it <laughs> until they pay us. Like the fine, at, Nene's <laughs> the fine people at Nene's Taqueria. The fine people at Diet Dr. Pepper. Yeah. You're on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> Diet Coke. It's <laughs> good. Coke. It's good. There's something in those chemicals that keeps you coming back. <laughs> yeah. Now, Jeremy, you're more of a raw sugar kind of man. I what do. brings you back I to the classic Coca Cola? I don't like the diet drinks. They don't do it for me. I wasn't raised with them. It's you're my culture. An all natural mm. woman. Yeah. What do you do? What's up? I'm saying you're an all natural woman <laughs> because of my Coke drinking. Yeah, because yeah. you have you. You're all in on sugar, baby. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Did your mom drink Diet Coke? No. See, that's why. I think did your mom did your mom drink Diet Coke. Does your mother kiss you with that mouth? <laughs> <laughs> with that Diet Coke mouth. I think you just get that those habits from your mom. My mom would bring home a case of Diet Coke every two days. So you're, you're saying correct. like when you're a kid, not like in the yeah. womb. It wasn't yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> you want a no. fetal fetal diet coke disease. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna I, start telling people that's <laughs> 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 Fetal diet yeah. coke disease is It's great. worse than cigarettes. You it's were born worse. basic. They say if you're if you're pregnant and you want to drink a diet coke, you're better off taking a cigarette than just smoking that instead. And that's a real science fact if you're listening. This post made by Classic Coke Gang. <laughs> <laughs> you used to be able to lie in ads like that. If you I, were like a cigarette company, you oh, just be like yeah. cigarettes. They're really good for you. They're actually really good. Yeah, <laughs> they'd have a doctor. They just yeah. paid money, just got money in his shirt pocket. Like, Cigarettes are great. <laughs> they, uh, they, they make the baby strong like a factory. <laughs> <laughs> it's illegal to buy one of these jackets. I'm a doctor. <laughs> It'll turn your son into the Hulk. <laughs> positive. <laughs> Which is positive. In parentheses, positive. That's how no advertising was dressed up like a doctor. <laughs> like, oh, they're amazing. It's Dr. Hulk. <laughs> there's right, green, there's red. Hit the button. I'm starting the podcast. For another week live in the studio that is my entire apartment it's alex and jeremy what's going on hey man happy to see you it's been a long long time I'm since we happy recorded to see you jeremy a few hours ago and a few hours before that as well it's and, and also the entire time in between where i yes. was also seeing you but <laughs> well, we didn't talk we didn't have headphones on for that that's right and that part was different well we we have an exciting guest here in the studio today uh all the way from laugh town usa that's right new york city <laughs> The Big Apple. Adam Gilbert is here on the show. Comedian Adam Gilbert. What's going on, Adam? Hey, not too much. Just chilling. Oh! Oh, walking over here. We like to do things New York style on the show. We grab the slice before hey. recording. We grabbed That's the true. slice. You talked to the pizza guy for for a while. Yeah. I did. I, I tried to reach out to him like a long lost father, and he doesn't really know. <laughs> he didn't want I'm to talk at. to you at all. Yeah. I'm trying to help his business. You so were like, did you? You literally. <laughs> I thought I heard you say, "Did you go to that doctor?" I, you I did. did. You did. That's crazy. Like, did you go to that doctor? No, there's a. There's, <laughs> he has a vegan. I'm not going to defend myself. <laughs> Mario, did you go to the cardiologist or not? There's a Too doctor's best. office that orders from vegan restaurants that I picked up from talking to the other vegan restaurant I guy. I am so different from you. If I go to like a restaurant a hundred times and they're like, mm. hey, you were here last week, I never go no, back. No, I wasn't. I'm like, don't look at me. <laughs> and you're like, you need to see a doctor <laughs> to your pizza guy. Who moved in like a month ago? Catering orders can make you business. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always saying that on this show. Catering orders That's make right. a business. That's kind of Alex's catchphrase. It is. And normally that is how we open the sponsored sodas segment. <laughs> but today we're going to just jump right into the show. Now, Adam, <laughs> are you familiar with Quora.com? Uh, a little bit. I, I really haven't gone to it too much, so excited to uh, really take a deep dive. Me too. <laughs> now we're uh we're gonna get right into that for um probably more than your fill today uh but until we do that we do have our recurring segment first that we do every week which is of course uh the number one advice segment on the internet tips for women tips for women aren't you happy you have those headphones yeah <laughs> this is pretty sick now yeah, if you, you didn't know. have the headphones, that would be kind of We would just have to awkwardly. This, no, this rules. <laughs> this rules. Headphone pilled. 
Um, <laughs> or just every time we hit a sound effect, just like hold up a hand so Adam knows <laughs> not to talk yet. <laughs> they can't hear you. <laughs> it's tips for women still. Um, now, we were doing tips for men for a while, and mm. that was wrong and it neglected our female yes, fan base. who were so, mad at us. And now we're giving them tips as well. And yeah, so uh, we would like that. to ask, and no pressure if you don't have anything off the top of your head, but do you have any tips you could give the women in your life or everyone on the world? In the whole world, the all the women. <laughs> Do it for all the women in the world. All yeah. the all the ladies. Or out just there. a specific woman, if you have one in mind. Yeah, like Mrs. Claus. That's one. <laughs> Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, you could, those are just two women. I mean, yeah, they they, they both <laughs> seem to have things figured out. I don't think. That, <laughs> I think Beyonce and Mrs. Claus would be honestly offended by any advice. Melinda any Gates. Melinda <laughs> Gates. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> <laughs> You get that money. Uh, that <laughs> is right. good advice. Okay. That's for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness, this week's tip for women is to go get that money. And <laughs> yeah, that's a great tip. Also, to women. spend it, honey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No further details on that. That's up to you. But I just, I just fucking need it done. Right, right, fucking now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Get to work, <laughs> Get women. To, also, work it as well. <laughs> yeah. Break time's over. Work it, girl. <laughs> give it a twirl. <laughs> also, at the end of the tip is give it a twirl. <laughs> <laughs> work it, girl. Give it a twirl. It does, you know. It, it, the, the misogyny line of the segment is so thin, <laughs> so hard to walk. Yeah. Hey, uh, get paid out there, but like in a sleazy way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, what we were worried about, so we're going to, yes. uh, we like to begin and end the show with a, asking a question to Cora based on our experience that episode. Um, we and we did this. record the last one four hours ago. Yeah. So it hasn't had time to blossom. We'll uh, check in again next week. Maybe, we'll check in again this week, if but. I we feel like it. Uh, the question we asked last week was could you go to the woods and kill yourself with a baseball bat? Mm. Um, please ignore my cat in a primal <laughs> fight for its life with the other cat. The The sound is actually coming from the one who's doing the attacking. That's kind of an interesting fact I've learned. Now I'm just doing it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, you could go to the woods is my, that's my verdict on the Quora. Yeah, you could do that. You could go to the woods and kill yourself with a baseball bat, I think, if you hit yourself hard enough. Yeah. Do you really need the baseball bat? Just go to the woods. Yeah. Just punch yourself. Eventually you'll die. Oh, that's Some also true. If you walk far enough. New York <laughs> State actually has a series of advertisements advising you to go to the woods, even they if do? you don't mm. kill yourself with a baseball bat. Yeah, just to check out new parts of the state. Mm. Oh, all uh-huh. right. Yeah, if you were riding the subway, it'll say, like, check out outside of the city. Yeah. But bring a bat. <laughs> you never know if Mickey Mantle will show up. <laughs> There's some great players out there. It's the Big Apple. <laughs> okay, but no one has answered this. No one has answered it. We'll check ago. later. And also, uh, there's a warning that says get help at the top. Yes, there that is. AI gave us hey. because Jeremy sounds like he's going to commit suicide. Why me? I guess I wrote it. You wrote it. It was Mark's question. That's why you. <laughs> all right, whatever. I'm not to blame at all. We've been doing... um categories now for our show so this week's uh theme is mysteries of the flesh Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what? okay what was that was that supposed to be a different one or no no that's fine it's okay just... all right see the thing is the theme doesn't get a song because the yeah. segments get a song yeah. and it's really just like a hat on a hat situation I, I kind of agree what is the difference between a theme and a segment at the end of the day I don't know, but I love that tune. That was very, <laughs> very noir, very swanky. It was on YouTube.com. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Under Sponsor free saxophone show. sounds. <laughs> um, okay, Mysteries of the Flesh. Uh, now, we, Alex uh, uh, curated these. That's curated true. These. Too often with our flesh, we're left with questions unanswered. And sure. today, we look to remedy this situation yeah. once and for all. Now, we'll be doing this... Uh, Topic by topic, sure. uh, and we're going to be beginning with medical questions, which of course returns us to everyone's favorite segment, Quora MD. Won't you stroll down the halls, pick up a stethoscope, and check your bosom with it? <laughs> Quora MD. All right. Well, that's that. Um, this first question is: What kind of sweet body do you have? <laughs> Mysteries of the flesh. <laughs> Somebody uh, type that? 
Someone wrote that into um, Cora.com. They right. want to know, what kind of sweet body do you have? And again, a reminder, if you're a new listener to the show, all of the posts on Quora are questions with no further elaboration on yes. them. So there's no more information coming to you. No. Just the raw question. What kind of sweet body now, do you have, Jeremy? Two answers on this just say wet pussy honey with a tear emoji. Oh, that's so sad to copy from somebody yeah. else. And that's from Rachel, who is self-employed at Boutique. I guess it could be parallel <laughs> thinking, but it's like, I have a wet pussy, honey. This woman lives <laughs> so close to where we are. I'm Bro. not going to say where. Bro, it's an exact address right now. It's an exact oh. address. It is in Call this neighborhood. <laughs> we got to get... I got Rachel on the line. I heard you to wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, on we're, Monday you did. We're doing our medical segment, so I just <laughs> I thought I'd ask. That is crazy. Is this the kind of thing like on porn websites they leave cookies and then just say like, "Do you live in Lower Brooklyn?" <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's possible. I don't think the sophistication I'm not going to click there. any of these um, blurred out photos that I can click. He's always viewing adult materials on my podcast. I'm not going to do it. Or I'm trying I'm to saying, learn. Rachel, if you're nearby, would love to have you as a guest. <laughs> and you just ask how wet it got. Roughly seven <laughs> streets away. <laughs> also, it doesn't answer the question, what kind of sweet body do you have? No. No. Well, it kind of does. Damp in one That's area. That's part of your body. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not really describing the kind of body. Yeah. Right. Like, I would say slippery sweet if I was going to say something like that. Slippery sweet. Yeah. If okay. I, like, I want to include my wet pussy. That's a weird yeah. answer, though, to what kind of sweet body do you have? Sweet? Yeah. A little redundant. Sweet and you're, you guys are so right. It's like <laughs> you're kind of, you know, putting the answer in the person's head already. Yeah. What a sweet body do you have? Sweet. Yeah. yeah. Tasty. It's That's hard like to magicians. get out of it. Yeah. That's how magicians pick your card, right? Yeah. It's the same thing. Real? What? Isn't that a thing like magicians? Like, yeah. When they like make you guess, when they guess like a number you're thinking of. Yeah, they, they, they do, do like, like stuff where like throughout the show they'll say suggestive things that make you think of what they're talking about. Yeah. They want you to think They'll say, about. like, pick a four of clubs. I mean, any card. Yeah, exactly. And then you get it, and you're like, it's the four of clubs. I, that's a real thing, though, right? Like, the, the, I don't know. How did he know? Magicians are mind They're freaks. liars. <laughs> <laughs> They're pieces of shit. And they want to know what kind of sweet body you have. Magicians have great bodies. <laughs> Historically. I Is mean, not true? Penn & Teller, but Chris Angel. I, I, I thought of this the other night. Um, horny Pendulette. <laughs> He's just like, this is where the magic happens, <laughs> and we're going to show you how we do it. <laughs> That's good. First, we take off our pants. <laughs> <laughs> My wife is rewatching The Sopranos, and there is a plot point where Adriana says she had sex with Pen Gillette. And really? Christopher, like, yells at her. <laughs> <laughs> how could you fuck Pen Gillette? <laughs> you know, oh. Does Teller just stand there watching if oh, you fuck did, him? It's implied. Yeah, Teller's just kind it. of just silently there. Well, he's the one who actually has all the secrets. Okay. Penn's yeah. the showman. Right. Right. Whoa. So Teller fucks you, and then Penn says how it goes. Yeah. Looks like it's going pretty well. <laughs> he's all up in there. <laughs> Teller's <He's> totally quiet, <laughs> and then he busts, and he's just like, oh, man. <laughs> Seems and like the these camera, two are in love. <laughs> the camera turns, and it was all upside down. <laughs> Whoa. Pretty cool. <laughs> I bet you didn't notice Penn shoot you with his gun. Yeah. You, didn't, you were wondering why the cum went up. Now, the main thing that Penn, Penn and Teller did, they have a trick with a gun, and not the other magicians haven't been able to crack it. Is that true? Yes. But that does not... Could we please return Sorry. to what kind of sweet body we have? Sure. Bram Is, Nemeth. Sorry, what were you going to say? No, oh, no okay. I'm listening. Uh, Bram, Bram Nemeth said, the kind like black licorice looks good, but then you get a taste and you just, ugh. And then he put photo. in a SpongeBob reaction gif yeah. of a guy, um, well, I guess who doesn't like his body. Because <laughs> he's making a face. This is a response? Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. He's kind of really knocking his own body. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Okay. Harley Alexa Harley Quinn Lashur says, apparently a lustful body and with thick thighs and a fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> apparently. He's so modest about yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm told. Uh, I guess. <laughs> um, oh, my God. What is her bio? Okay. Uh, her bio. How, what of this? Is good to read. <laughs> <laughs> Made sexually dark for BWC slash BBC love relations. Created and raised as a slutty, sexually dark, hot tom girl by insane mother to be possible prostitute <laughs> or a girlfriend slash housewife to stay home and take care of the family. 
My insane mother made me love BWC. <laughs> they put her away for making son a fat ass girl. She, <laughs> her Quora is very funny. First of all, she lives in Crystal Springs. Mm-hmm. She she Missouri. just seven months ago she answered a question. What do you think about love so far? She wrote to me, sex. <laughs> Word. Yeah, dude. you're kind of a one note Quora account. I'm <laughs> noticing, but I'm all for it. Yeah, um, she's kind of like a sex Quora account. If you I click guess. her nose about there, yeah, you want to read some of this? Gay incest. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Promiscuity and anal sex. And missionary parentheses sex position. And then also, <laughs> English is also parentheses language, so not the people. I feel like we don't say this enough on the show, but if you're listening with your kids out, I'm, s- <laughs> I'm sorry. Because like we didn't know this would happen either. We just wanted to know what kind of sweet body you have. Eh, apparently lustful. And apparently a, a, a thick thighs is the answer. Um. I'll read one more of these. Eugene Iodine says, my sweet body of work. So a writer. <laughs> and it says volumes Fuck and volumes. you, Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sweet body do you have? Oh, uh, my body of work. Go fuck <laughs> yourself. What an <laughs> asshole, dude. I hope you I live in Brooklyn so I can beat you up. Oh, yeah, this dude. is Eugene. He's a psychedelic bluesman. <laughs> oh, no. I, th- I think it, I like that he's not afraid to promote himself online. It shows confidence. I guess you got to see something good in everybody. <laughs> this is our next medical question. Okay. Why does the sweat from my head smells bad? Mm. Why does the sweat from my head smells bad? I love this Cronenberg-esque topic you've picked for <laughs> us, It's Alex. sweat. I, uh, sweat yeah. smells the same. It's sweat. I think it smells the same everywhere, right? But from your head, it smells bad? <laughs> yeah. I feel like armpits and like crotch is probably the worst sweat. Yeah. Forehead sweat, I guess, is not that bad because it's not that much. Well, sure. if you're fl- if you're like really st- like nervous, like mm. you're they're interrogating you for the sure. mafia or something. That's why it smells so bad. It smells and they'd fishy. be like, "Why are like you know? Crime. Why you smell so bad?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's this guy? Who'd you <laughs> who'd you see? Why you smell like that? You're so Man. nasty. <laughs> this is my new mob character, the nose. <laughs> He lets you know what he's smelling. He'll sniff out yeah. what you're up to. He really doesn't have the social awareness to be like, maybe I shouldn't ask. <laughs> it's, Why do you smell odd? We got a guy who can sniff out a rat. Alex is truly in his, my wife is rewatching The Sopranos face. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> These are observations I could have any week of the show. <laughs> Classic phase we all go through. I'm in my, my wife is watching TV era. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Any medical answers on this? Yeah, Nona Leon, who has 10 years in the financial crimes, says, Dear, huh. <laughs> two possibilities, stress or hormonal changes. This may lead to excess oil produced by the oil glands in your scalp. Therefore, this causes the harmless bacteria that live in the scalp to proliferate and feed off the oil, which produces the odor. You know, this is exactly w- the response I wanted to. Two. Nerd. <laughs> A fungal infection causing tinea capitis. I'm uh, sure I said that wrong. Folks. It is contagious and can spread direct contact. Hope this helps. So it could be a contagious fungus. Thank you for writing in Thank to you. Quora.com. No, no. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fungus. Andrew says, it's not the sweat from your head. It's the sweat from your hair, which is coated from by, coated from by oils that smell. If it bothers you that much, the first thing you do is w- wash with a detergent shampoo every day of the week. What if he's For bald? What if he's bald? Yeah, what mm. then? What if it was so bad to be bald, I can't smell so bad? Those are all the answers. Everyone's just answering this honestly. Yeah. It's a pretty mm. reasonable question, honestly. Well, if you're listening at home, I think this could maybe inform why you <laughs> smell bad, and it's because a deadly virus has infected your scalp. All right, let's do another one. This is another mystery of the flesh. How can I stop the voices in my head when I am going to sleep? Oh, no. <laughs> now, a specific okay. answer on this one. There were a few voices in my head questions we had on the doc. Okay. Um, Stephanie Bordeaux was diagnosed with DID, which is dissoci- dissociative identity disorder. Oh, I was hoping that she made that up and it was like, oh, diagnosed no. with, I did it. I did the D. <laughs> this is going to become quickly offensive if we're like, that's fake. <laughs> uh, th- th- this is a colorful and poetic okay. answer, which All is right. why I made the doc. Okay, Stephanie says... The question isn't that good, admittedly. She says, big fat LOL. Hi, I'm yellow. I'm an altar in this body. You'd think that when we are sleeping, we'd shut up or we'd not hear my thoughts race. Wrong. Sometimes it is bad that green pops out, gets up and screams at us in the mirror after telling us in the head to shut up. 
We all talk to each other and talk back. It is difficult to get the voices to stop. If they're going to be on, they're on. If they do cooperate, it is because they are able to and willing to do to. Sometimes we can't stop being on. One thing we can do is take anxiety medication to keep our ba- brain busy in our in other centers by playing a phone game. We don't sleep very well when we are more active or under stress because the head noise increases. I know this doesn't help you, but this is my answer. Your mileage may vary. YOLO. I feel bad making fun of someone who probably has intense PTSD, but it is funny. Well, that, they have DID. Sure, but yeah. But either way, I've, it it is funny to have all your your alters be colors. I guess I don't know. I feel I like think it puts yeah. a, this is dangerous. It puts a visual indicator on it. Um, <laughs> Very inside out kind of reality this guy's living in. I like see That's like true. a like a, a Mucinex commercial <laughs> style reality to it. Yeah. Or like yellow is like I sure. want to stay up, but green's like I want to sleep. And yellow is Amy Poehler, right. and red is. Does anybody mind playing a Lewis phone game? Black. I'm red. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the last thing you want to do before you go to sleep. It's gonna keep you awake all night. <laughs> Although everybody has different needs. Every color of the rainbow. I don't, th- I don't think it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it's okay to read. All right, fine. I think, And I think it's beautiful as well. It is beautiful. It's all the colors of the rainbow. What kind of yeah. sweet body do I have? Red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, let's, let's do the quiz course. This is a much less offensive section of our podcast, which is about politics. Well, we're going to make Adam finally put his foot down and talk about politics. We're putting your feet to the fire, Adam. Oh, fuck. Yeah, let's do it. I'm so, I'm mad as hell. <laughs> so pissed off. What am I pissed about? Tell me. All right. Let's Tell it. me what I'm mad about. You're going to love what you're mad about here. <laughs> and again, the theme is mysteries of the flesh. This is a question that someone asked to Cora. Um, With what? no answers. No, there's one answer here. Oh, okay. Uh, why do I see white people as being Chinese? <laughs> that's like, on you, dog. <laughs> that's on you, dog. You gotta, you gotta that. see them as as the way they are. <laughs> damn, shaking my damn head about it. Do we have the uh, Bill Maher new rule? <laughs> we do not have new rule. I felt like oh, other the, shows had new rule. Sure, I have a uh, like dun, 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 dun. I got uh huh, uh-huh, honey. Uh-huh. Do you yeah. have a new rule for us? All right. Hey, new rule. <laughs> new rule. If you see white people as Chinese people, you have to see Chinese people <laughs> as white people. Killing spree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell them. Tell them. Hey, hey, enjoy that. Uh, enjoy that being Chinese, uh, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> no one is safe here. Killing yeah. spree. And it's the quiz rule. course. <laughs> he should do that one. Yeah. <laughs> I would be I mean Bill Maher's been on for a long time. I'd be surprised if he hasn't already done it. It's true. You he know? probably has. It's it's hard writing Kill, a whole show every spree. week. I'm sorry about killing spree like that. Uh it's <laughs> just kinda it's in it has a mind of his own. Um but if you in all honestly, if you see white people as Chinese, that that's not what they are. <laughs> and that's all that's the lesson there. What if, you, if it was uh what if that was uh, the the sixth sense kid? Uh-huh. What his problem was? <laughs> <laughs> I see white people, but they're Chinese. <laughs> also, he's not dead. He's just <laughs> like an annoying boy. It's just Bruce Willis, but he's Chinese. <laughs> I have a very non-lethal disorder. <laughs> You're telling me I'm Chinese the whole time? <laughs> Introducing Chinese Bruce Willis. <laughs> the ultimate In his debut shot. role. <laughs> Uh, I see you've pulled up a profile here. This is the person who asked this question who has asked 2,000 questions, and their bio, his bio says, specializes in racist decep- deceptive theories. Deception will get you nowhere. Killing spree. I had to do it again. Because so all of their so questions times. are race-related. Oh, Let's wow. Go. So there's no sacred cows there. <laughs> Truly, there. no. Wow. I don't know if we can read any no, of these. No, we, we but- probably can't. I'm trying to see if there's any weirder ones. I don't know. Why do Filipinos hate other Filipinos? Yeah, it's, it's, it's just everybody. Feels like it's a briar patch in there. Everybody hates everybody. Come everybody on. hates everybody. How many of these can we answer? <laughs> <laughs> why do why are English men rude and racist? Oh. Well, um, I don't know. they invented it. It's an yeah. island culture. It's, it's their right. Yeah, they're island boys. <laughs> <laughs> they're the original <laughs> island boys. The king. <laughs> they can't yeah, help they. themselves. <laughs> uh yeah, 
I don't. I don't think we should read too many moonshine. No, I don't what, think what we do can. Think? I don't think we we. Moonshine's also answering a lot of race questions. Yeah. So they are keeping busy on here, and some of these are from Thursday. Yeah, he's really uh, put in the work. Respect to moonshine. Yeah, racist deceptive. You're our theorist. race scientist of the week. A new segment I'm starting. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cora.com. Um, let's do forbidden knowledge. Okay, we're cruising today, baby. Yeah. The unknown. <laughs> Forbidden truths. Oh, this is what is beyond? Okay, this question is, what happens when you eat a ghost? What does this mean? What how, how would you eat a ghost? I feel like it could happen all, very easily. Now, have y'all heard of the Eucharist? No. No. Really? Lay, lay this knowledge on us. Well, um, the thing about God is he gave his own son to die for our sins, and he is also a ghost. That's key. Keep listening. Now, to respect that, because he's the goat, what we do... God. Yes. The goat. Is we, he's the lamb. <laughs> he is the lamb and the goat. He can be multiple things. It's kind of the premise of the whole religion. But um, the thing <laughs> is that uh, you can eat a cracker that's like spe- a special oh, cracker. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. And that is also Jesus. And Jesus is also a ghost. So if you eat the Eucharist, you are also eating a ghost. Uh, and it's supposed to be ghost. his very flesh. The Holy Ghost. And so when you eat it, what then? When you came up, when you found this question, what Alex, then? did this all come to you immediately? And you thought, like, I yeah. have to bring out my. Holy no, I'm ghost. always trying to get more ghost stories on the show. <laughs> But upon seeing one wasn't forthcoming, I was sure. like, revert, pull back my, to Catholicism. My first thought was just like, if I'm eating food, like let's say I'm eating a sandwich in my home and like a tricky ghost, maybe they have like a vor fetish or something. Oh, and they, they just walk in right into me. Yeah. yeah. They just oh, put their, my, their hand in my mouth and now I've eaten a ghost. Yeah. And they say something like, does anyone need anything? And they reach into your mouth like it's the fridge. Yeah. They're doing bits, but no one's there to really <laughs> listen because they're a ghost. I don't... I- I don't think you can eat a ghost. <laughs> it's all it's all technicality. Uh-huh. It's like a ghost is on your cracker or a ghost is on your sandwich. He's not ghost... on the cracker. <laughs> is that... He is the cracker. <laughs> Wait, so he is? I thought it was like his like his stuff was My on... cracker. <laughs> when you when you went... My cracker as well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> thought was... You thought like when, when people eat like a wafer that it's like covered in Jesus. Yeah, like a little bit of Jesus like spread ghost it. spread. And like that is something I've tried to, to hit on on the show. Jesus is not a sauce. <laughs> He is. He's goaded with the sauce. Yeah. That's the confusion. He is the cracker. Please. But so what were you saying? <laughs> he is Before we cracker. cut you off to, to <laughs> educate you on religion. Here's one crazy-ass white boy. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, no, I... <laughs> He's the craziest to ever do it. <laughs> yeah, see? Now that's an island boy. <laughs> but now, I, I just feel like you can't eat a ghost. It's all technicality, because then a ghost could fly into your mouth, uh-huh. but that's not you eating it. That's a ghost flying into your mouth. Right, you have to swallow Mouth them. invasion. A ghost, uh, like, possessing you, but that's not no. you eating... You wouldn't say the exorcist ate the demon. I might say like, oh, the exorcist ate if I was like trying sure. to compliment it. Well, like, yes. That would be a whole different yeah. story. We saw that head turn. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's serving the fo- flames of below. Yeah. You know, like something like <laughs> when that. When she said your mother sucks cocks in hell, yeah. she ate with that. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> she's got so much swerve on it. But um, she walked down the stairs all cool. I'm hoping... <laughs> sure no one walks down the stairs like that. <laughs> yeah. She I keep, served. I keep getting distracted, but what I want to say is that I do hope to gain some ghost knowledge in the comments for once in my life uh-huh. because every day I wake up and I know nothing about the void. <laughs> okay, well, there's 11 answers on here. Uh, Momo, whose qualification is 10 plus years being a high school student, Oh, me too. It seems too long. <laughs> it's Dan Lakata. Yeah, I was going to say. It's comedian Dan Lakata. <laughs> Dan Lakata says, might disrupt the digestive system a bit, give you some flatulence and gas pains. There's a lot of air in them, you know. Makes for a very light meal, though. Though I can't imagine the ghost would be very happy with once you with you once it passes through the body, whether it passes through you using ghost powers or passes through your body like everything else you eat. Now, ghost powers. Momo, ghosts are not full of air. And you would <laughs> know that. confidence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we know they're full of air. Why? Why would they be no. made of anything? They're, they're ghosts. Made of, they're made of spirit. Yeah. If you paid attention in biology, you would know that. 
In ghost biology class. In ghost <laughs> biology class. <laughs> that you have to take in high school. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you, I mean, does he think that ghosts can suffocate? I don't yeah, think that. question. Let me just get out in front of this. I do not <laughs> think that. <laughs> what a fucking dumb guy. <laughs> this guy doesn't know shit. shit about ghosts. Fuck you, Bobo. Yeah. Graduate high school. Yeah. Um, this other question from Wendy Woods Alexander says, you can't, but if you are one of the Constantines, Fosters, and any of their friends who took the advice of someone and ate a rendition while you hunted them in Astral, I would suggest you get to the Pentagon because you are going to be need in need of help. The hunt yeah! for, for Zoots took place a couple of years ago and continues every year about this time. What happened was those individuals were also encouraged by a couple of fosters as well as multiple who is an idiot, meaning she wasn't made the way she would have been. And those individuals who followed their advice as well as prayed around in their, in the carcasses after they skinned the zoots, they have changed. This, this answer took a turn. This keeps going. <laughs> if you could believe it. It says, it, to clarify, it is saying the zoots. I will say just real quick, the last sentence. So if you're one of those people, get to the Pentagon, get to General Moss, and tell the truth, and oh. then all his instructions. This person's either out of their minds or doing a bit, but I do <laughs> want to actually try to see if we can make this sound coherent. Um, okay, so important. Their bio does say they were a uh, first major in the United States Marine Corps. So maybe General Moss has something to do with this. Who's General Moss? They, they're um, Wendy Woods Alexander's general. I'm going to look it up. Adam, continue what you were saying. I see you going off quora, and I don't approve. I, I, don't, just, <laughs> I don't understand. Like they, What don't you understand? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty straightforward that you have to report it to General Moss, and there are zoots. <laughs> what, what would they think that the military would have to do? They'd be like, oh, ghosts. Well, ah. they're, they're immediately going to dissect you, right? I feel like even if they don't believe in ghosts, if you go to the military and be like, I ate a ghost, there's a ghost in me, they're cutting you up so fast to see if that's true. Well, yeah, this is yeah, a bigger conversation. Fun, yeah. is, can we trust the military with any of our ghost secrets? <laughs> because yeah. they have defense capabilities, first and foremost, on their mind, and your identity and safety, second. Sure. The way that like um, the United States military has deployed ghosts in Afghanistan, to yeah. Hand yep. <laughs> to mm -hmm. take down I, their I played that game, Call of Duty Ghosts. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, if ET taught me anything, I think it's just keep this <laughs> shit to yourself. <laughs> yeah, I think that's true. I'm very curious if. Why do people say that you fart the ghost? Which I feel like is wrong. That makes sense. Well, ghosts. Um, Does it make sense? It makes sense to me because ghosts are kind of gas. Ish. How is this any different than the air? Yeah, I think you can't say that they're gas if you also say they're not. All air. right, I retract it. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you do you retract? They're not farts and they're not air, and you can't do that. And you have to tell General Moss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go to the Pentagon if you eat a ghost. I'm saying my white ass down and eating a ghost. If I'm remembering correctly, don't ghosts usually pass through you? Like you walk yeah. through a ghost. Yeah. I they don't know what they're up to lately. Yeah. I think it depends on what their powers are. I don't. I, I think you're probably right that they wouldn't. You wouldn't be able to eat. Them. Okay. What about this? Sometimes when a ghost possesses you, it goes in your mouth, and that mm. seems like a form of eating. Are you being possessed by the pizza that we had before we recorded? Oh my fucking Socrates! Well, well, I'm well. feeling has like logged it. on. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then what are ghosts? Because I'm basing all of my ghost knowledge off of Ghostbusters and Danny Phantom. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Danny Phantom can like shoot lasers. Like, sure. The Ghostbusters can somehow capture ghosts, which doesn't I'm make any sense to me. Highly unorthodox. I've seen a lot of drawings where Danny Phantom gets eaten, though. <laughs> <Yeah. saying. laughs> that is, That's on your own time, Jeremy. <laughs> Watching no. a lot of ghost vor. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're still on forbidden knowledge. Okay, I yes. think we're going to have to leave the, uh, ghost, the ghost question, question as behind. kind of a never, never to be answered. Okay, there's another question. What is a sweet, soft, full body massage? What is it? I never heard of the sweet part. Yeah, well, Alex, a lot of did questions. you look up sweet body, Alex? Yes, I did. <laughs> I typed these. sweet body into Quora because I was okay. down to two questions. And they were both pretty relevant, weren't they? <laughs> yeah, pretty good. And they're in different categories, what so it's a, a sweet, broadened soft, conversation. Full body massage. What is a sweet, soft, full body massage? I'll say that Amy Delventhal says, is someone actually advertising their services using this language? I've never heard of any massage being described quite in this way. 
Well, you haven't had mine, Amy. And then someone says, would love your massage, Dan. <laughs> Dan. Sign off. Dirty dog. And that is By from way, Daniel is Russell, dead. who lives in Florida. And this is, he's. he's this is the only one no, he's answered. He's okay. answered one other, which the question was, does a full body massage include the crotches for females? And yeah. he says, yes, it does. Best to orgasm many times. <laughs> yeah, I have not man. heard that, Dan. Dan, you rule, dude. Here's some advice. Keep coming. <laughs> I, That's I, a tip for women. Just go to Cora and I'm be not horny, dude. Song. He's awesome. I'm not hitting this song. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, he was horny twice and then never again. <laughs> yeah. He got what he needed five years ago. I am still no closer to even knowing what a sweet, soft body massage is. Um, Serge, Serge, Sergi, Serge, 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 Serge Gutierrez says, my God, I thought it was a type <laughs> of soothing full body massage for an infant. I then Googled it and found that it is related to mostly porno material. <laughs> Wait, yeah. you, just, you Googled sweet body massage. I mean, that sweet, doesn't define soft anything. body massage. And that and you person- go, oh, a baby, like a baby. <laughs> Because they're so soft. <laughs> they're soft. I'm soft. Let's call the whole thing off. baby was going to massage you? <laughs> yeah, not a massage for <laughs> a baby. crawl on your back? <laughs> <laughs> a baby massage given you by a baby. If the baby is possessed. <laughs> Isn't this what you saw in Japan? <laughs> yes, I saw a sign for baby massages. <laughs> but they weren't sweet, nor were they soft. <laughs> I assumed they were cruel and unyielding. <laughs> um, and those were massages for babies. Can I just say Sergei's... Um, Qualifications say he is a licensed Masseuse. massage therapist. Yeah. So uh, this is a professional being like, I just Googled sweet, soft massage, and I'm disgusted. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is what people think I do all day. <laughs> um, oh, God. I, I'm just sorry. I went on what the, are you looking at right I'm now? I'm looking at the person who asked the question about the sweet, so, sweet, soft body massage just to see what other questions she has asked. Okay. Her name is Charlotte. Okay. That was her first ever question. Whoa. She's hey, also asked questions scene. such as, what does it mean when a man starts foreplay with his wife earlier in the day but does not follow through with the intimacy later that her night? Her questions get better. Yeah, yeah that is that's a, better a way better re- re- That is question. a better question. Oh, it's, my God. There were drafts. Yeah. I like that about her. Okay, so <laughs> that you got to lose that man because he's not fulfilling <laughs> you and your needs with a sweet, soft body massage. Oh, wait, okay. Early in the day, her husband's come by giving her a sweet soft body. Oh. She's like, okay. And then he goes out for the night and she's like, What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why was that sweet body massage? Looks like I'm alone <laughs> with a full body of wine a full bottle of wine and quora for the evening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude. There's one answer on that question that says Swedish. No, it's not. Shut up. But, and that but, person's also a therapist. Yeah. A lot of masseuses on this. Masseuse gang has arrived. Um, someone says there's no such thing as a sweet soft body massage. It may be full body soft oil massage. That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Never mind. <laughs> All right, there you go. It's soft, it's got oil. And it's exclusively for babies. Um, should we read another question? Should we get a baby way on the soundboard? I feel like it could be good a lot of the time. Oh, a baby with crying? Yeah. Oh baby. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. That's but, our good friend Wario. That's a close friend of the show. But uh instead we have something like a what, you know. I don't know. Like, I never use this guy. Ooh, that's good. That could be a baby. Wait, What's say our... something about boobs. <laughs> aren't, no, quick, aren't, aren't, quick. Aren't, quick. Aren't, aren't they big sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't mean that. What's, yeah. our, what's our least used uh, sound effect? I really accidentally do all of them kind of a lot. But if it's not Nani, oh, you know what it is? I think it's this one. Uh-huh, uh-huh, honey. <laughs> no, that's what I use the most. Never mind. That's uh, this one. That's sure. good. Yeah, the Law and Order one. Law and Order. So, and the thing is, I'm often surprised, so it would be relevant much of the time. Um, Upon discovering what a sweet soft full body massage was, I could have really slammed that guy. Do it. <laughs> yeah. It's That's not the same stuff. when we all see it coming. Though. No, it's good stuff. I like I'll it. I'll get you when you don't expect it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me there. That one's pretty good. It's pretty <laughs> long, me. too. Yeah, it's really. The tiger doesn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, what, you want to do another question? Yeah. Okay. Well, speaking of, of tigers, we're on our animal section, uh, Corrigan Wild. <laughs> the tiger's back. Ah! 
Let's this, see. This you question. Can handle this one. Why were all dinosaurs meat eating predators? Why were there no sweet dinosaurs like swans and geese? I love this question. Yeah, it's well done, and it's. I mean, it's missing. It's well there. done. <laughs> There's a ton of. Are there a ton of plant eater sweet sweetie pies? There are some plant there eating sweetie be. pies, but the sweet dinosaurs. <laughs> the dinosaur are, noise. Brian, yeah. That's my brontosaurus. That's a great impression. Here, yeah, here's, here's my uh, stegosaurus. Hey. <laughs> hey. I like that. Oh, he's like kind of talking. Oh. Right, it's Jeremy, just, you do one. It's just Ray Romano. Uh, I'm, I'm munching. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> Debrosaurus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that's a stegosaurus. But, um. Robert. <laughs> <laughs> I, whatever point I'm making is not worth derailing Ray Romano no. dinosaur. Sorry, yeah. And I'm wrong to have done it. But it's I guess my point character. is my point is swans and geese are also they're already dinosaurs. They're yeah, like they kind of are right? dinosaurs. Yeah. Have you seen a goose at Prospect Park? No. They're huge. They're like up to like they're like four feet tall, and they like come at you. They sure. they just are living dinosaurs. They'll chase you like yeah. in Jurassic Park. <laughs> and uh, the closest living relative to the T Rex is the chicken. That's so, true. So I'm gonna go ahead and say swans and geese are dinosaurs. You're a liar. You're lying for clout. You're besmirching dinosaurs. Wow. You don't even care that some of them sound like Ray Romano, and they, <laughs> they found the Debrosaurus Rex and would often chide it. Uh, um, and uh, that uh, many of them also ate plants. So how about that? How about you learn? How about you read a book for once? Yeah. You just my... extincted them, dude. <laughs> you got hit by the comet. Yeah. <laughs> you just got meteored. <laughs> it's and that's what it sounded like. Dinosaurs. <laughs> the meteor-sized gun. Did you see that Adam Driver movie where he has yes. to shoot all the dinosaurs? Oh, is yeah. that good? Yeah, it's, it it's, good? it's pretty good. Did it looks you see fun it? as hell. The thing is, it's like it's a bad movie, but like I so I saw it on a plane, and it was like oh, a perfect. very good plane perfect movie airplane experience. Movie. Oh, yeah. yeah, basically Torok. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Is like I don't know how they got away with like the concept without M Turok's lawyer getting involved. <laughs> Turok, of course, is the man who created the game Turok, Mr. <laughs> and he is litigious. Yes, <laughs> he's like Nintendo. It's all true. <laughs> the truest story ever told. I've gotten a, a letter from Turok in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> he says, "I can't have Adam Driver shoot this leopard." <laughs> um. Yeah, he like lands on the planet and. Uh, as I recall, there's like a little girl with him and he's got to yeah. return her to a bigger spaceship, but then like her family's dying. But the twist is he's in the past. I don't even know if it's the past. It's like um, it's a, it's like an interstellar civilization kind of thing. Oh, you've seen the movie. I saw it on an airplane oh, like a enough, year enough, ago. Enough, I, I could enough. not tell you a fair thing enough. that happens on this, except that I remember thinking that like the actual like dinosaur animation is pretty low rent and that they wow. uh, could have stepped that up. And it's actually sad, really. And uh, do better next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take them. And if you're in Prospect Park and you see a goose, it's basically that, like being that, in the Adam sweet... Driver movie, <laughs> 10 million BC or whatever the fuck it was called. <laughs> it's pretty much a sweet dinosaur. Wasn't it called something like that? Wasn't it just like a number? It's like, yeah, that was a different like that. caveman movie. Oh, yeah, 65. Man? Oh, yeah, you're right. It's called like 65 or something. It's called the number 65, nothing else. That's it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh, look it up. That's what it is. It's a very strange sequel to the number 23, <laughs> starring Jim Carrey. <laughs> I deeply regret bringing this movie up. <laughs> okay. okay. What was the question? Why are all dinosaurs meat-eating predators? Why are they not sweeties like swans and geese? Okay. This guy, Andrew Lindsay, who's an electrical engineer, is pissed off. He says Tell it's them. amazing how much wrong you can pack in a single question. <laughs> oh. Killing spree. <laughs> yeah. Andrew Lindsay says, many dinosaurs were herbivores or omnivores. Swans and geese can both be quite nasty and aggressive creatures. Also, swans and geese, like all birds, are descendants of dinosaurs. <laughs> so that's what we said. That's, so that's what right. we said. I'm essentially an electrical engineer. Because that's what that guy was, and we knew the same things. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's kind of just glisting dinosaurs There's in the There's a picture comments. of a Triceratops. Uh, it's actually a Albert, Albertoceratops. Oh, I misspoke. That's fucking Albert. <laughs> that's an Albertoceratops. <laughs> um, sweet like swans. Have you met a swan? They can be quite nasty and aggressive. Swans are really mean, right? Yeah, this whole thread is just people shit-talking swans now. How would you fight a swan if you could? Because we've talked a lot about fighting... Um, 
what, what are we, an ostrich. Ostrich. I think a swan is a similar thing because they're both very big necked creatures. Bonus episodes every Thursday, patreon.com slash core raiders. Now, an ostrich is much more threatening yeah. than a swan. But I think I'm doing a swan the same way where I'm grabbing it by the neck and I'm swinging it yeah. over my head and I'm tossing it into the Prospect Park Lake. Is and that what you said you would do with a, an ostrich? That's what I was saying. With an ostrich, you need to go for the neck and also you're supposed to pick up a weapon of some kind because its legs and arms are so sharp and they can cut you in twain like a lion's head. Oh. Yeah, they can oh. decapitate a lion with one fell swoop. They'll and I'm kill you. sick of saying it, but it has to be said. And they're deeply racist. My favorite part of the and whole... And they see all white people as Chinese. <laughs> they, oh, damn they're, it. They're racist in one specific way. <laughs> <laughs> they're, ra- they're still racist against yeah. Chinese people, but they, they hate see Chinese white people, people. But that includes <laughs> white people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> actually, if you're Japanese, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but white people and Chinese yeah. people alike. Yes. Yeah, they get it. It's on yeah. It's a lot of the population of the world. <laughs> it's like uh, two thirds. <laughs> it's a good bunch. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I was just going to say that the main technique from attacking the ostrich, which can be deployed here in our swan battling thread, is sideways attack like in Soul Calibur. Hit square. <laughs> horizontal attack into the neck and that's sure. going to get them and maybe hopefully chase them off before they use their vertical attack with their legs and kill you and, and kill your ass dead to be clear this is based on our feelings about ostriches right this is not science well it's the sweet science of the streets <laughs> i would come with a baseball bag Remember that part? Yeah. yes yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> aluminum Go to town on that fucker. Um, this person also posted a picture of a goose next to an elephant where the goose is bigger than the elephant. I don't understand what point they're making here. I, if, Wait, I f- read the post? It feels prescient. Read, read the post? Go um, the sweet like swans. Have you ever met a swan? They can be quite nasty and aggressive. And then there were Cygnus Falco- Falconeri, prehistoric swans the size of ostriches okay. terrorizing the swamps <laughs> a few million years ago fighting dwarf elephants. Oh, so dwarf they're, elephants! They're bigger than regular swans, but the elephants are smaller, too. Oh, Ooh. we have elephants at home, elephants at home. Yeah, and then they have a bunch of photos of, like, a swan beating the shit out of an elephant. Thank God these are photoshopped, because I would not <laughs> be able to go on knowing. Is this Animal Kingdom, like, fanfic? It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, expanded wow. universe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the EU. They actually made this not canon recently. Right. But <laughs> Now yeah. swans are swan size. Yeah. And elephants got uh, majorly buffed. <laughs> oh, they got nerfed. <laughs> um, the rest of this is just people listing dinosaurs that were yeah, cool. I think we made our point here. I think we made important points today. Mm-hmm. This is a knowledge podcast at the end of the day. And some is forbidden. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> Shit in my ass. That's not a command. Are you uh, playing it or, or should I? What's up? We're still in Animal Kingdom. <laughs> uh, what is the maximum number of cats that a person should have living with them? Okay. Maximum number. You have two. What's have the one. most? What's the most you've ever had? Do you have a cat? Uh, my roommate's got two, so I feel like two is the max, mm-hmm. right? When I was a child, I had a cat who had kittens. Okay. And cats do not be knowing how to have the right number of Dude, them. Dude, put them on blast. And so this motherfucker had five. Five had babies? Five babies. I already had two cats. So you had seven. I had seven cats. Did you take for care of the babies? Then? It was Give like away. it was like cheaper by the half dozen, <laughs> featuring me and my cats, and they were rolling around, and they gave the mother horrible postpartum depression. She never recovered. What? So wait, we what? can safely put when we're moving on from that. There's no need to even explain. <laughs> no, wait, no, hold on. Cats can get postpartum depression. They cats can. can be like, I don't really feel like a mother. <laughs> <laughs> I don't love my children. I'm a fraud. She kept saying. <laughs> oh, wow. But in the way she would like sit on the couch, you could tell. Um, <laughs> I look at my husband like he's a mouse. I, <laughs> <laughs> the thing I remember was that just there were so many of them that even though she was bigger, they would kind of just knock her over and go to town milk wise. Okay. And so we can safely put the number seven at too many cats. So yeah, between two I don't know and if I seven. love go to town on it. <laughs> <laughs> milking for Milk wise, I sound. said. Hit the awooga sound. I don't remember where it is. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> drinking milk and going to town. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo, you like that milk? <laughs> this is kind of a podcast for babies by babies. <laughs> yeah. Right up next, baby massage. <laughs> <laughs> They'll crawl on you. What kind of sweet body do I have? I'm a cat. <laughs> This is the callback podcast. That's right. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> uh, all right. Well, to finish my thesis here as a learned scientist. Between, seven, you think? I think seven is too many. I think it's between two and seven. What's the number? Is six too many? I, I think, think six th- would feel very similar to seven. I think yeah. three might be too many. I think yeah. two is the most. I think two for both. Two dogs, two cats. Yeah. M- absolute maximum. Especially if you live in That's the That's a madhouse. Yeah. If you have like a house, maybe you can have three cats. Oh, yeah. Well, they're, 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 yeah. People get if you live away. in a normal size home and not in like a have, closet like a home we do, you have 40 acres. <laughs> then, yeah, have a bunch of cats. You have can, 15 sure. cats. You can have up to four cats with 40 <laughs> acres. 10 acres per cat. Um,. Well, we've all we're all familiar with the old spinster woman who uh, she well she has great longing for the outside world and replaces that need by having one hundred cats in sure. her house, and th- we know that that's too many because then the cats well either parasites in their poop possess you and you become right. a thrall for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, for one, you exist to Some serve sort of like the hive cats. mind. Yeah, you uh, you are you exist. Uh, you're kind of like a drone who uh, sure. lives to serve the cats, but uh, she does it does. Seem like a pretty fluffy way to live. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that's all I'm trying to say. It's pretty cool to be a slave to the cats. Yeah, like a cat woman, crazy cat woman. What are you missing at the end of the day? <laughs> ah, why what? not? Who cares what's going on in there? You're freaking full of you're full of love in there in the house. I think it'd be cute. I I wouldn't have that many cats. I don't think. I would put my maximum number at four. My cat is Born. from a, a hoarding situation, a cat hoarding situation. Oh, really? Rescued from a, uh, a servant of cats. Right, because they had they realized it was too many. Too many cats, and, you know, my cat now is a fucked up long. Right, is that related? Yeah, because he was just sick, and they were like, there's so many of you I'm guys. Not, I can't do anything What am I supposed this to one? do about that? Yeah. <laughs> I, it's really good of you to rescue a, a, a smoking cat. Yeah, well, he's <laughs> addicted to cigarettes, which sucks. <laughs> So one time he feels like a man. You can't really. It's very pretty hard to get a non-rescue cat. Like you can only really get like fucked up cats. Yeah, right? like, they, I don't think they had. Do they have cat breeders? There's like a few. Like you can get a few <laughs> fancy cats, but it's like. Come on. I think I've said this before on the podcast. I got the second cat of mine just by opening my window in yes. Bushwick. So yeah. oh, I just yeah. walked in. They're, if you're paying for cats, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, they, like those are free. Find one. The city is killing them <laughs> relentlessly. Just go ahead and let them in the house. Yeah, a friend gives you a coffee table. You don't buy a coffee mm-hmm. table. Your friend has a cat with postpartum depression because there are five children sucking the milk out of them all day just long. Just going to town yeah. on it. She's just like, I don't know how I'll ever work again. It's <laughs> I think my career is behind me, it says, as a cat. We do a lot of tips for cat women on this. Yeah, yeah. Tips for cats. Tips for cats. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, back to something Jeremy was saying before. Four, he said four. Like, oh, no way. Can he explain it? If you put four of them next to each other and you lined them up sideways, wouldn't it be around the size of this mixer? That's not so bad. Four cats? Yeah, oh. like. The four size of that cat, mixer? Cat, I think cat, four cat. kittens, maybe. No, but no, four, four, four cats? Cat. Are you crazy? Cat, I don't think down. four... F- Your cat is bigger than <laughs> this fucking Luna, thing. Luna, get over here. They fit in the box. Yeah, get They can wobble. If they, they fit, the they box. sit. Have you seen the internet? The entire internet. They're kind of like liquid. Now now imagine two more cats on top of that. You think they'd be fitting around? And they're just there? going to town on each they'd other. They just go to town. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing is I wouldn't mind two mixers worth of cats because I love these things. <laughs> yeah, you've got the, the brain parasite. And that's why I put my number at four. Four. Interesting. I think two. <laughs> oh, that's Oh, I never use this one. I've, this one's gonna go. We don't you know we don't need it because we're so we're always laughing. Yeah, we're killing <laughs> the whole time. We don't even need it. It's a goddamn crush zone in this room. I think I'm just gonna start like Listening to that sound effect every morning like American Psycho. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looking in the mirror. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah and Gillette would sound like that yeah, if he was yeah, horny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what if Ray Romano was a dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> it's an asteroid. 
<laughs> yeah, you like Can that. I tell you a character I thought of the other day that like is for nothing? Yeah, yeah is sure. Werner Herzog showing the boyfriend of the girls from Two Girls, One Cup the video? <laughs> yeah. Just being right. like, you must never look at this. <laughs> never this, watch this. this. <laughs> you will destroy be this tape. Destroy it now. You should, you should destroy it. That's it. That's that character. <laughs> you can't wrong. eat a ghost, but the bear can eat a man. <laughs> Seen it. You can eat at the soul of a man. <laughs> at the least, these two girls should have two cups. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they share the cup? They're so poor. <laughs> poverty had reached such a drill and conclusion. <laughs> I like his uh, glowing review of um, Gummo. Did you ever hear about that? No. Har- no. You know Gummo, yeah, yeah, Harmony, Harmony Korine's Korine. movie? He, he said uh, when it came out, he was like, when I saw the piece of bacon taped to the bathtub, I said that was art. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I it's love that he's in Star Wars. Oh, yeah, it rules. It's just so silly. Did you see that interview where he gets shot with a gun and continues the <laughs> yeah. interview? Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, he, in the interview, he's like, oh, it's just a small firearm. Yeah. So he just like plays it off and is like wincing. Just that continue. video and the one where he realizes John Waters is gay are like the two oh, best. Ver- yeah. He's like, I had no idea. <laughs> That's so awesome. I don't see people like that. <laughs> I'd believe him. I do too. Yeah. These are all time moments of He's film German. history. <laughs> anyway, that's that com. big character I'm working on. <laughs> Nicholas Cage is not actually Chinese. <laughs> 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 All right, that's the callback podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's been good. That's been damn good. Um, should we read any of these cat answers? I would like to know what people think because I said because we're still doing yeah. the cat question. By the way, yeah. that's I just what need we're some on. Goddamn closure in my life for once. Someone says, uh, Sprite says, in order to determine the number, a person Sprite. has to answer some questions honestly. How much space do I have for my cats? Do my cats get along or, or are there territorial disputes? Do I have enough space to accommodate the litter? This is boring. The answer a is. A cat just, wrote that. Yeah. Anyway, she has 12. Too many. Too many. Three she says, times not the maximum. They are our family. <laughs> Three times the maximum. You have the parasite. <laughs> She says that she has enough space for them, too. It's like, how big is your house? You have 12 cats, and you feel that like they have enough space. Somebody's own. living large out there. Do you have 12 litter boxes? Walk from the front door. It's just all hammocks everywhere. That's crazy. Cats love hammocks. Um, Valerie Fox says, I have six. I wish I had two. Okay, so six is too many, <laughs> Six is too many. That's kind of a sad answer. That is a sad <laughs> answer. I had six. I wish four of them were dead. I know yeah. just the four I'd kill. <laughs> yeah. If they're reading that too, they're gonna be fucking bummed. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> this came here to ask questions about fish. <laughs> Brittany wrote this. <laughs> Brittany A- about us. <laughs> Why would she say that about snuffles? She taught me to read. <laughs> Someone posted a picture of a ton of cats. Yo, let's go. <laughs> this I, is twenty cats. Yeah, Adam, 20. you cannot see the picture. Just imagine, imagine too many 20, cats. Imagine 20 cats, picture. if you can. <laughs> um, if you can. <laughs> do you want to go to the you? Yeah, if you can handle that. <laughs> can, you, can your brain conceive of that many cats, Adam? <laughs> um, let's do our final question. Okay, this is core fine. romance. Core romance. Hit it. Yeah! Not the right one, but I appropriate. Have too many, I have too many pink ones. Okay, hold on. Everyone shut up. <laughs> That's good. Perfect. Have you ever loved a Quora? This question is, I always catch my boyfriend smelling his testicles. Mm. Is that weird? Is this weird? Yeah. I think it's weird. How do you do that? I don't think I could reach. At least he's doing hand to nose. This is what Marilyn, uh, this is why Marilyn Manson got rid of his rib. It's just to <laughs> smell his balls. <laughs> he actually didn't want to suck his dick. He was worried it's like off, but he just keeps <laughs> going down there and be like, no, it's fine. <laughs> Does it smell as bad as my forehead sweat? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. How is he smelling his balls? Bo- I feel like if he's like maybe once or twice, he's like just like, huh. sure. And he just, He's doing a lot of like making sure nobody's looking. If he's looking, you're both doing ways, this like it's a normal thing. People, <laughs> if do. he's looking both ways, it's normal. Uh-huh. Okay. If he's not looking, if he's not even checking, like if I was just sitting here, like uh, that would be gross. He's always got you caught. doing it for me right now is really upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I pulled this. You know, two, do you do two fingers? or Do you do one? When I smell my balls, <laughs> yeah. 
I guess if I was going to do it, I'd do two. If I, you were going to do it, I'd do two. If maybe I, three. Let's I, say you went on a I run. Say. Mm-hmm. Let's say you went on a run, mm-hmm. and your <laughs> lovely wife is like, "Do your balls smell?" Uh huh. And you would check. And she is asking that. Hey, there's a virus quick- going around. Just quickly check if your balls smell. Quick yeah. question. <laughs> and she sing songs it too. Yeah. <laughs> do your balls smell? That's that famous song. Let me smell your dick. Um, that is, is that right? a song? That's a that's a it was a it viral is, song. It's like a viral ten song. years ago. Jeremy's it was about the a, youngest person I know. I'm thirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, no, it was a, a woman singing about her cheating husband. Uh, she was like, "I know what you're up to. Let me smell your dick." This does. This is coming back to me now. Yep. She um, could. She could smell. She, the no, she other wanted. Women to, on it wasn't, dick? Yes. It wasn't a power. No. I, I, well, well, I mean, it sounds like a power. it's just you can tell it's like an animal territory thing if like sure. someone's been because the her his penis was her territory in the lore, mm. right? And so by smelling a transgression, she would know to punish him on his dick. Was it like he just came home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From yeah, the yeah. sex, we I can play can the smell. song. He says smell. he was at the store. Yeah, mm. I wonder if we play it, we'll get in trouble. We will certainly get in trouble because it is almost definitely a different YouTube video. <laughs> yeah, but. It's a great song. You just have to trust Jeremy. This is a beautiful song. (laughs) Yeah. No, I'm I'm picturing it. (laughs) If you can. But if the (laughs) if the question is, is that weird? Yes, I find it to be weird. To smell your balls. Especially always being caught. You gotta be sneakier about that. Yeah, if you're sneaky. Go to the bathroom. The word always was thrown around. I always, always catch my boyfriend smelling his testicles. Well, I don't have four cats telling me if, <laughs> to blame it on. And if you train your cats well, you'll never have to smell your <laughs> testicles day Yeah, they life. smell it for you. <laughs> you set up a series of alarms. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's read some of these answers because uh, this guy, Jamers. Jamers? Jamers. Jamers? Matina? Ga- Jame on Jamers. Yeah, Jamer Jamer alert. Believe it or not, it is not weird in the slightest. It is a completely <laughs> normal behavior that is primarily restricted to males. That's why females are that's why females are we sat skiing if it's normal and females still running around smelling their vajay jay. But I for one certainly JJ. love smelling my balls and my ass. I guess it has something to do with the pheromones. I love smelling my ass. And it's the chemicals ass. that Ew. are in that area. It is useful for attracting a companion. So it does have some history <laughs> rooted in truth. <laughs> Smelling my balls and ass is a great way to pick up a girl. Source, <laughs> truth. I'm guessing it's because of the chemicals in my ass. I love smelling it so much. <laughs> Sorry, the pheromones. That guy's awesome. Dude. I would love to just repeat this for someone and just have to back up with like, Jamers told me that. <laughs> <laughs> Who told you Jamers? <laughs> He's pre-med at Harvard. He's it has history so rooted in truth, he said. Oh, Jamers. <laughs> and this is, the, you can't like trust people with good grades, is something I'm always saying on this show. Yep, preach. No. I've been in high school for 10 years. <laughs> now, on the other yeah. hand, Cornelius Gary, whose bio says that he <laughs> is cock and balls, geography and testicles, says, No, you are weird for watching. Yes, dude. Yeah, I you think mean, Cornelius Gary's airing you out on this. <laughs> Holy yeah, he shit. majored in cock and balls <laughs> geography. <laughs> <laughs> that's the north part of the shaft. <laughs> that's the south right there. Yeah, that's, that's what we call the pole. Do you ever actually read the degree on your doctor's wall? <laughs> <laughs> that is what most doctors have a degree. A in. bachelor of arts. Cock and balls geography. Cock and balls geography. <laughs> uh, lots of other. It's weirds. People do it, but I don't want to see it. Says Alexandra. <laughs> Um, Because it looks rather disgusting to me since I don't want to think about stinky testicles. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Um, If he can get his testicles up to his nose, he would probably make a lot of money selling tickets. I guess. No, he wouldn't. Shut up. Fuck you. It's so hard to make a career in the arts. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck you. You got to start a following. You got to have a podcast. (laughs) You have to be an influencer of your testicle smells. You're doing instas of of, of the smells. I would, I would, that would be the one OnlyFans I subscribe to. It's just a guy who can pull his balls up to his face like a wind-up yeah. toy. You say that, but I don't think it's true. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. You're right. That's probably, there's probably a guy who gets close. And you know what? Thank you for calling me out. You think you can just say <laughs> things on here? What would Get be your cost ceiling? My what? If it your was like ceiling. $2 oh, sure. a month to see that, I think I would subscribe to that I'd pay it one time to see it. I'd oh, I would probably it. keep auto renewing. If you told me it was like, and if he pulls it up and then it, 
when he lets go, it goes like, and slowly goes back down. Yeah. Eight dollars a month. Yeah, <laughs> you're about to get some incredible DMs when this podcast comes up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I am. I am. Don't be weird to me. This will be put to the test very shortly. <laughs> okay. Well, that's gonna do it for today, I believe. And I'm uh, returning to the church. And uh, I do. Oh, never mind. The question is going anonymous. to live in the woods. Yeah, please do. It's where I feel safe. It's the woods. Do you want to ask? Uh, do you have any questions you want to ask Quora before we before we head out? Is there anything we have? What do we discuss today? Uh, white people. Uh, white people new being rules. Chinese. What kind of sweet rules. body do I have? What new rules do you have about your sweet body? I, I don't want to steal a sweet ghost? body. They're kind of hard to answer. <laughs> yeah, they are. Um, oh, ghosts. What about the ghost question? Ghosts and um, like eating ghosts. Yeah, can you... Can you read a ghost? I think that would be the question. That was the one we read. <laughs> oh, I that's thought true. it was what happens if you eat a ghost. Oh, uh, I guess yeah, technically it's pretty much the same question. Can you be what? racist towards ghosts? Can you be racist towards ghosts? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> We're Every, all so excited. Everyone pointed it so he doesn't forget. Do it, do it. Do it, do it. You listen to this podcast every week. It's just us yelling, do it at Jeremy and pointing at the screen. Do it, type it, type it, type it into the website, type it. Oh, I accidentally closed it. I was about to say, you fired that off one so fast. Okay, uh, all right, let's close the show here. Adam, thanks so much for coming on oh, over, thanks man. thanks for having me. This is a blast. It's been great having you here on the number one Quora podcast in America, Quoraators. Where can our listeners find you at home and abroad? Oh, just Adam G Comedy on all the all the socials. Yep, go see Adam do his big jokes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, and that's going to be us over, uh, over here at Core Raiders. If you would like bonus episodes where we go on other websites such as Reddit and LinkedIn and Facebook and sometimes Twitter or TikTok before it's made illegal, you're going to want to go to <laughs> patreon.com slash Raiders and slam that subscribe button. You could even do it for free, and then uh, normal episodes are on there, and you yeah. can see them there. How about that? You won't that? get the special ones, though. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to plug. Is there anything I'm forgetting? Nope. Well, that's it. I just have this podcast. I love you so much. We love you. You're my world. We're your mommy and daddy. Goodbye. Goodbye. I love you.